to be more like her. I looked up to her. I was terrible to her. I nearly killed her. I loved her. You should tell her exactly how you feel. You have no idea how happy that would make her. You think so? I can't. I can't. Not after everything that happened. It's too late for Gamora and me. I'm a living reminder of her time with Thanos. Move on until that last, that last piece of him is gone. Then things will be better soon. For everyone. Look, this might sound corny, but it's never too late to make things right. You can always make a change. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Peter, for listening to us. <laughs> Whatever it is, I'll tell her what you said. I've been afraid of how she might react for so long, but <laughs> I'm already dying. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Hey. Hey. Do, uh, do you want me to? I don't know if people try to fix me. I, uh, yeah, I get that. There's something I need to tell you, sister. What is it? I... I can sense your despair, Peter. Everyone's, really. Is Nebula still... I don't mean to pile it on, but I got some bad news, too. Our engines got thrashed when we were swallowed. Can we still fly this thing? Not a friggin' chance. Okay. Let's get back to work. Everything you could for her. I should have done it sooner. Nebula was the fiercest, 
most sinister opponent I have faced in battle. What I liked most about Neb was how much she hated Pete. Like in a deep, unrelenting way. Funny girl. I am Groot. Oh yeah, and she really seemed to care about you, Gamora. You should value the connection you two shared. To be alone is a worse fate. Speaking of worse fates, we gotta figure a way out of here before we end up like those poor bastards. Those poor bastards. Exactly! Huh? What? Look at all those ships. There has to be some parts we can salvage out there. You forget about that internal ocean of stomach acid. You can't just take a little swim. Then get me flying again. I'll see what I can do. I mean, I sure ain't dumb enough to go out there. some engines. That'll do. Listen, I've been running the numbers. We gotta drop weight in order to take off. Drop weight? How exactly do we do that? Yeah, take everything that ain't bolted down and give it the old Chucky Chuck. The lighter we are, the longer we float. The easier it'll be to get airborne. Desperate times, right? When aren't they? Ah! Oh, please don't drop me the answer. Well, I didn't burst into flames. Is it time for round two? As long as I don't overwork the jets, I should be able to avoid the acid. I hope. Ideas on how to move these engines, my boots won't be able to. It's an engine, Pete. Just turn it on. Oh, good. A giant red button. This always ends well. Some elbow grease. Which sounds gross now that I think about it. Careful, Quill. Hey, I'm doing my best out here. Great. Now I'm inside an upset stomach. There's a rhythm to it.
Careful, Quill. Hey, I'm doing my best out here. Great! Now I'm inside an upset stomach. Is this a Torium work as Starship fuel? I suppose so. In a sense, all fuel is just explosion, so yeah, it'll explode. Why are you asking? Oh, no reason. Just, <laughs> just curious. Mind if I do? Good helmet. Hi! You don't want to get rid of that? 
Then this goes. Hey! That sounds like progress. Our lives depend on it. Get off my back! There's no friggin' way in hell I'm getting rid of this. I'm sacrificing all my extra knives and swords. How many swords do you have? Meanwhile, Rocket won't give up one of his guns. Yeah, but check it out. Not now, not ever. I built this thing with my own two paws. What part of everything goes don't you get? Now dump it. All. They don't understand. Possessions are meaningless. All that matters is the trail of blood we leave after slaughtering those who have wronged us. Oh. That's some image. After our shared experience, Quill, I discarded everything. Even the things that reminded me of my beloved Kamaria and Hovat. I'm sure it must have been tough. It was. Supremely. But after you entered me... <laughs> yeah, I, I entered your mind, right? I knew it was the right thing. Well, at least you actually listened to me. Unlike some people. You see that, everyone? Drax went and threw everything away. You should follow his example. Why? Shouldn't our leader set the example? You hear that, Groot? I guess Drax is our leader now. I am leader? Your room is still full of keepsakes, Peter. Since I'm the leader now, I request that you all kneel before me. No, no, just... just stop. Let me show you how it's all done. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my room and sacrifice the crap out of some personal stuff. Oh, man. Where to start? Throwing away their belongings is certainly upsetting the others. What is it about these... things? Why do they hold so much emotional weight? These things aren't just things. They define us. <laughs> I'm a long way from home. These are the last reminders I have of who I am. They're you! Of course! Hello, Peter. I will think about this more. There is much I can learn from you, it seems. One thing I learned about the Guardians is nobody ever makes sense. All right. Let's get started. Yondu gave me this. Not sure how he'd feel knowing I dumped it. This Yondu has a strange way of showing affection. He has a lot of strange ways. Trash. Oh, man. This one's pretty emotional for me. My first hunt back on Rayjack. <laughs> I remember it like yesterday. Finished first place for taking down a massive... I sense a lie. Last place. This was a trophy just for participating. Screw the pity prize. A photo of me and Mom. You should keep that. It weighs little in your hand. But much in your mind. No, I'm keeping this. Besides, it doesn't weigh a thing. All right. Let's see what we got over here. Oh, 
My emergency stash of Centauri spirits. They help me to... Act like a fool? No. Relax. They help me to relax. Nah. Need to keep my wits about me. My toy ray gun from Earth. I used to bring this with me everywhere as a kid. I mean, the galaxy is a dangerous place. It's my weight set. Just in case you were wondering where this incredibly muscular bod comes from. I wasn't. Take one last look at this bod, because after today, we're taking the fast train to Tubbsville. Well, the dream of a Guardians baseball team dies today. I've never owned anything before, but I wish I had something to throw away to help the team. Even though you said these things are who you are, and I do not want to throw you away. Here, you can start your own collection of odds and ends that you'll be forced to throw away in order to escape a giant alien worm. Thank you, Peter. This is the best... Baseball glove. The best baseball glove I've ever seen. Gather round and be led by example. Huh. Looks like you kept a few things. Only the essentials. I guess this is a case where half-assed is better than no-assed. I'm actually a little surprised he came back with anything. My ego's swelling here. All right, since you're not absolutely pathetic, I'll ditch the guns. Hmm. Fine. Same with my swords. I am Groot. Man, that is... really sad. Isn't it like a cousin or something? No, 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 no. You should keep it. Agreed. And what of this one? <laughs> Bowie! How did it get in here? Probably followed us through the caves. This is why you don't befriend strange creatures. Nah, no way. Get rid of it. But he's so lonely. That little bastard ran us straight into a trap. We're keeping him. That's the end of it. Fine. What else we got to ditch? Well, I think Mantis has something to... I don't know what you mean. <clears throat> the thing I gave you to, to give away. Oh, I want to keep it now. Great. Great. So, we all did the thing and got rid of some stuff, and we're such great friends now, but there's something I'd like to point out. The tape deck. I've done the numbers, and that thing has to go. Okay. It's how we listen to tunes. It's how I share myself. It's real weird and all, but even with everything we're ditching, it's still gonna be close. We want to play it safe. We gotta toss it. We'll need the beat. You'll see. Trust me, have I steered us wrong yet? Don't answer that. Just the trust thing. Do that. Better hope one of those engines is in more pristine condition than it looks, Quill. That's the spirit. See? We need hope. And music. Who's ready to take off? Ready to attempt it, I suppose. Then it's go time. It's now or never. After Groot and I installed the engines you found? Yep. Right after that. Exactly. 